Hello everyone, it's Chrissy from Chrissy's Beautiful Life. I am so very excited to be sharing with you today my 2022 December daily album. Uh, for this album, I use the 2021 white with the red font Falala album. This is from Allie Edwards. Um, it just looked the best next to the album for from 2021. So that's why I went with that. It's quite chunky. It's pretty, it's pretty packed. I have 25 stories and I had so much fun um, creating this album and all the stories within this year. So we're going to dig in and get going. All right, let's get started. So all of these spreads will be on my Instagram. If it's something you wanted a little closer look at, um, you can head on over there and check that out. I'll leave the link down below. Um, I started with a title. I always start with a title page and you can always tell it's kind of the first thing I've done because it's where most of my, my mistakes um, happen. For example, I used um, red line adhesive on this one, realizing, oh, hey, you can see it. <laughs> so then I went ahead and stitched it. Little things like that, um, but I'm okay. I am not a type A or perfectionist type person, I really am good with just kind of letting um, imperfections be, uh, which is good when it comes to creating for me. Um, so I went ahead and did that. I also put red line on the good tidings we bring to you and your kin, this little strip that came from the Allie Edwards. I don't think it was the main kit, but it was came from last year. And um, it's kind of hard to see when on camera. In real life, you can see it. But I think on camera it's and on photos, it's hard to see. But what I did is I used um, one of the transparencies, the six by eight transparencies. And I used some of the gold washi from the, the main kit. A, a fun little wreath. I think this is um, crepe paper or something along those lines. And then the um, separate 2022 for 2022. One of the little trees, I think that was from the year before. And then of course, one of the word phrases. I did back it with some ribbon, which you can see through, but again, that doesn't really bother me. And just um, one of a little tab to flip it. And that's my opening. I then have just a nice blank space to kind of rest so that this is more of a spread versus day one and whatever have you. Um, I did consider putting a photo here or something, but I really wanted to use up this December card. It was, I think, originally um, an, an 8 by 10 It was one of the larger sheets, so I just trimmed it down, stitched around it, and of course you got the ribbon from the other page hanging out, which I think looks nice. And it helps flow into my day one story, which is a couple things. Um, so I always like to have something that tells our ages and some photos of us. So that's what this tag is. I believe this was not original. Oh, no, it was a tag. It might have just been longer and I trimmed it. And then I've got photos of all of us and our ages because I really like to know quickly how old we are. I could do the math, but it's nice to be able to just quickly look and be able to do that. So nice and simple. Just did my handwriting on it. Nothing too crazy. Um, I didn't really fluff up this side because in the album, of course, it's shining through like that, so no big deal. I have our holiday checklist, which I thought was really fun. Um, and so I used some of the gold numbers there and some of the canvas word strips, which was fun. And just kind of did our little checklist that we wanted to do for the year or the season. I thought that was really fun to do. And then I do have this cute little calendar, which I love because it had the mom and dad and three kids, which of course represents our family um, and just kind of gives you a little calendar. I'm not big into filling out a calendar with everything we do, but this was just a nice little nod to, to it. And I just love how it kind of represented, like I said, my family. And then I also have in here my reason why tucked in, which is awesome. So I just did this on Canva and just kind of shared my thoughts and feelings for the year added some more of that gold washi and then um, the back of it is another um, six by eight card that i trimmed down just a little bit and then to make this pocket because they're two separate pockets i simply just used some of the transparencies that are um came in the transparency and card set that had the holes already punched in them 
and I just trimmed them and then stitched around, stitched under here, added this really cute, uh, this is a cut file from Confessions of a Paper Attic, one of the trees, uh, one of the little labels, and my number that I painted red. So it's an easy page, but I love how it looks. And it kind of just sets the mood for the season with all the little bits and pieces. All right. For day two, it is a multiple page spread, which is fun. I do not do this very often. So I had a lot of fun with this. Um, in the December daily, I think it was in the prep party. There was a challenge, a stamping challenge, and I am not a stamper. I've never been, I don't have stamps. I have one ink pad and a, a roller date stamp and that's it. I'm, I'm just not a stamper. It's not my thing. Um, but I do love to stitch. And so what I did is I took different fonts of alphas, like chipboard letters, and <laughs> I'm a millennial. So this, this is right up my alley, right? So from the windows to the walls, I'm about to deck these halls. And I just love this. I did stitching in white and then red to, to do the halls to really um, get that word out there. And then I just colored in with um, a little ink with in the green and it's not perfect, but it was so much fun and it definitely um, got my inspiration in going. And Allie always talks about being a transfer transfer of ideas. I think that's how she says it. Um, but yeah, so this is how I was able to participate in that challenge without actually stamping. So that is how I'm opening up. I then went ahead and got a selfie of myself decorating for the year. And we had a shelf in our living room that I put all of our fun uh, little decor on, which I thought was fun. And we have a little uh, wood plank thing that we hang our stockings on. So I went ahead and did that, did some more stitching. I added another one of these um, song phrases, vellum pieces on, and then uh, one of the star wood veneer that I put in between this and the back page as another place to turn, which then has another transparency that I did some more stitching on. One of these really large um, plastic words. I love these. I used a bunch of them. Um, and then I fussy cut out from, I think the year before an eight by 10 that had all of these fun little words and banners. I did one of those and placed that on top and to adhere everything. So like this is taped, but the plastic word, I just stitched it onto the plastic, um, and into the black card as well. I then used one of the big red felt numbers from 2021 another one of these stars so that it's kind of there and it's, you can tell that it's still a part of the story and then um some more stars to again kind of make you see that it's all one thing so this is now documenting decorating the outside of our house so there's a photo of my partner putting up the lights which i love and then you take this out so you can see the whole thing and all of our mess that we've got going on um i added these really cute little christmas lights they add a bit of bulk but I felt like being on the outside of the page, it was probably okay. Um, a fun little Christmas tree in the lights, which I thought was cute. Just found that on Pinterest. Um, there's a photo of the shelf that I decorated. That was the first picture. And then the journaling about how we went about documenting and um, we were able to do some more lights. So we've gone farther out with our Christmas lights this year than we have in previous years. And that is day two, which I really love. Okay. Day three is a little bit more simplistic, which is nice because that one was quite, there's a lot of pieces to it. Day three is a story, the story of tonight and three different stories because I was at my work Christmas party. Sean and Barrett stayed home and had pizza and watched TV. And then my oldest two, Jackson and Nora, were at my mother-in-law's and they had a movie night and had cupcakes. And Nora got a cupcake smash in her face, which is the photo that my mother-in-law sent to me. So I just typed out the little journaling there. And then this is also done on Canva. I slit a hole into the page. I printed this as a six by eight. And then I've got the photo of my work um, and the journaling about that. A uh, close up. So these are the lovely ladies that I work with in the front of our dental office. 
And then some texting with both my coworker, Christina, that I love so much, but she's no longer working with us. And so we talked about that. And Moira and I talking about starting from the morning, how it was going. We both had Christmas parties going on that day. And so we're kind of cheering each other on. And then um, we're both um, not really late people. And so we just kept talking about the timing and how tired we were. And uh, it was just really fun. So it was a really fun way to document a story and I really loved how it turned out and then these all just tuck in like that and I didn't slice my thing perfectly so it was a bit messy and I just added some more gold washi and just called it good it's it's totally fine um, and it works for day four I went ahead and did um the tags um from I'll, I think these came in the prep day too but they're the would you rather and so Sean and I both filled those out which was really fun I had Sean actually write it and so his handwriting is in our albums and there's nothing on the back I kind of just printed this with uh, what I had and let it go but then I took this really fun it was an 8 by 10 trimmed it down and then sliced it so I could have a pocket kind of the same idea so I've got one of the um oh what are these the canvas word phrases here another tree a number this one I didn't paint and then I just put exactly what's going on so we had a shopping day date which was fun I did get a selfie of us so that is there and then the back has our story which I just love it's very it's small writing I can read it in person all right even without my glasses it's probably hard to read on camera but it was really fun to just document how we managed to go ahead and get this accomplished. I do think we did this before December. I think this was a November um, event, but I don't do my stories by the date. Like this was December 4th. I do it as this is story four, which I think a lot of us do. Day five is also a kind of a spread. So I have my kids writing their letters to Santa that I took really fun photos. I just set my phone on our counter and snapped the photo so it was nice and up close for them, which I think turned out really cute and then told the story. Some more gold washi, one of the Santas. This again was done on Canva. And then I had this as a cut file from Confessions of a Paper Addict that I kind of then made work for our letters to Santa. So this flips open and I've got two cards. So one of the cards just kind of has this cute little Santa um, three by four card that came in the, I think it was the main kit. And then I've got each of the kids lists. And I thought that was so cute to have their handwriting. And the kids saw me take the pictures, but knew that we sent them to Santa. So it was a good way of being able to explain how I had the kids' letters, so to speak. Um, it was a good compromise. So if you're trying to figure out how you do that and how you keep your kids' letters without them being like, well, why doesn't Santa have them? Good, good option there. Loved how that turned out. And again, just a little pocket. This is something I had created to use for last, like 2021, and it just was too bulky and I couldn't make it fit. And so I was so happy to get it used and work in with my day five story with our letters. And then I just kept with the Santa theme and story five, because it's all kind of the same idea. So we went and got our Santa photo and I chose a photo that I probably normally wouldn't have, but they had taken some photos and Nora asked if they could take a, a silly photo of me, like a sad photo where she was pretending to be angry. <laughs> and so this is what happened. Santa made a really funny face. Um, Nora made the pouty face she wanted to make. Barrett is smiling. And then Jackson's just over there like, you guys are crazy. And I love, I love this. I think it's adorable. Not your original, just they're smiling. And so I thought that was really fun. And then we talked about how this was them seeing Santa for the first time after two years of really not being able to do that and how exciting that was. Another one of the, this was a transparency of the Santas. And then I just put a little card in there as well and called it done. So love how that one turned out. Again, the five, just so you know, this is all one story. Okay. 
for day six. I love this. It's also a spread. I got this super cute photo of me. It's a selfie that I then used a filter from, it's called Photo Lab. And it turned me into a deer and I just thought that was super cute. So good way to get myself into my album. That's always really important. And then this is flowing into day six, which is all about the day of color, which is hosted by Holly. She's done it, I think three years in a row now and maybe four. I loved it. So I used one of the red six uh, felt from the 2021 release. I used um, one of these little metal pieces to fill it in and then just put a few of my favorite things. Flipped it open, just a filler so that you don't see the tape from the six, cause it was kind of bugging me. This is an afterthought. I had left it, but then it was bugging me. So we, I filled it in. And then I scrap lifted this idea of all the stars and the photos and a line with stitching. And it was so much fun. I love how this turned out. It's so much texture to this. I just adore it. And then I've got my photos of everything I decided my for a day of color I was going to document things that were white in my in my house so my Starbucks cup I got the one with the little icons but it was you could it was a lot of white to it um I have I got this cute little hat that has this cute little white pom-pom at the top of it um we got a new blanket that was also a white base to it our tree topper is a white light that kind of star that kind of glows it's really pretty um my favorite candle was the sugared snickerdoodle from uh, bath and body works and that was white themed and then we also had our first snowfall so i just kind of documented that wrote it all down and called it good so, so other than the fact that i had to do the stitching um on this this was a very fast spread it was pretty easy to put together once i figured out what I wanted to do and then I have my handwriting in here so I have a mix of handwriting and um, printed typed up journaling. Day seven is super simple again Canva was my best friend for 2022 um, I just inserted the cute little pictures of the kids doing their advent calendars I wrote what each one of them got put the number down added another little circle piece um, these were one of those patches from 2021 and a little wood veneer, another canvas word phrase and a sticker. And that was it. That one was nice and easy, super quick. Those are nice when some of them are more complicated. My day eight story, I used one of these awesome um, little pockets, circle pockets. I use them by I took them apart so that it's only part of the pocket. It's not both sides. And then I restitched it. Um, to make it attached to the circle idea and then I love this so I put my journaling about what I was doing and how I wanted to experience Christmas through my five senses it was something I, I really wanted to be able to kind of document this year um, and then I just filled the back of it with a picture of the Christmas tree and another one of these little cards and some washi tape so I, that was how I was able to get my number attached to my journaling and then on these tags, I have, I have all the senses. So do you hear what I hear? So my kids running around the house, um, screaming as Sean chases them, sounding like a monster with his, um, this is supposed to say big. I don't know why it says, anyways, um, he was chasing them around going, grrr, and the kids were loving it. So that was really cute. Um, I, f do you feel what I feel? All the cozy blankets on the couch with their velvety texture do you smell what i smell nora's curl activator cream as we have to make sure her hair is on par for spirit week do you see what i see barrett just staring at the twinkle light soaking it all in the magic of the season he would do this he would just sit there and stare at them it was the cutest thing ever and then finally do you taste what i taste um chocolate biscotti cake made by charlotte she's a co-worker for our potluck and then there's a side note about how this was prince william's groom cake and it was super delicious so i love this just a way of experiencing christmas through your senses nothing too crazy but it's just kind of something a little different and if i did this again for 2023 it would be completely different which is why i like stories like that because they're always evolving and changing and another one of the um word phrases i love these things i use them as much as possible okay 
for D9. We documented my kids' artwork. I love to get them into my album, their writing, their anything. So I definitely did that. Um, this does pop out. So Nora made me this cute little snowman woman. And it says, um, sh love, I love, I, I think it's supposed to say I love you, right? Um, or I love mom and dad, but it's so cute. I loved it. So I didn't want to trim it down in any way. And so that is how I managed to get it in here. I just made a little pocket and I, oh, did not make a pocket. I put this in, sorry. I did not make a pocket. I put it on, I backed it with one of the six by eight plastic things and it just slides in between them. And then again, um, a little bit of ribbon, cut the circle, did the um, title and everything. And then another one of these little banners that I fussy cut. This one is from Jackson's and I added um, just the fact that I, like this is why I love it. So there's Jackson with his snowman and then it opens up and his little note that he wrote, which I thought was so cute. It says, dear mom, I hope you have a great, a great Christmas um, uh, and you get what you want. I think is what it's ending up. And I just love it. He's got his little Minecraft things as well. And then Barrett made this super cute little tree um, at preschool and it's got his little fingerprints on it, which I thought was super cute. And so I've got all three kids represented there. And then I also did their concerts within this spread as well. So this flips open and you can see Barrett, um, he was super shy. The moment it started, he just stood like that the whole time. So we kind of talked about that. I didn't get Jackson. He um, did not um film like they did a weird dance that I filmed it but then he um I didn't get a good picture of it but I got one of my daughter and all of her little friends and then this is her one of her good friends from school and so I grabbed that as well and I need to tape them I haven't yet I need to um but they just slide into the pocket like so and that was a great way to also get that story told within the same Thing without making it a separate day because I was running out of room. I had too many stories I wanted to share. And so this was my compromise. Okay, day 10 is also an easy one, but it's really neat. I love it. So I used again some more of the stars into a Christmas tree shape, one of the um, canvas word phrases, and then it flips open this way. And it's telling the story of our Christmas ornament this year that we got because we went to Kamloops on our summer vacation. And so we brought home this super cute little um, ornament that has uh, five little bears, which is really cute. And I documented that and just kind of told the story. Now, if I had thought about it, I would have somehow put a pocket of some kind so I could pop out and show the kids ornaments because we get them an ornament every year as well. I did not do that this year. So all that means is for 2023, I'm probably going to um, do a big story about ornaments so that we get that in there as well. That's my day 10. Day 11 is about our tree, finally documenting, doc um, decorating it. So another little tag. There's the photo of all three kids in front of the Christmas tree. And then another tag. I want it to be aesthetically pleasing. So I just did the papers on one side. And then we have Nora putting an ornament on the tree. My journaling about it. Again, handwriting versus, you know, typed up. So we've got the lovely mixture. And then the photo of my boys also putting their ornaments and just being in front of the tree. But it's all talking about documenting and decorating the tree. I made a little pocket with that with some sequins. That was really fun. This was originally going to be my story one, but it just kept moving past in the album. So that's okay. Love how that turned out. I used another cut file from Confessions of a Paper Addict so that I had a little bit more to spread out. And then we have this super cute photo of Barrett in front of the tree as well and talked about some journaling about how much he wanted to put up the tree and the lights and all of that and how well um, both Jackson and Nora were gone. We put them up and he just kept telling us how we had to put the star on top. And he just, he was all about the tree this year in Christmas. He is a fan of decorations and lights. 
My story 12. So we all have them, right? Those not so great moments within any month. Um, so I decided to put them all into one story. So I used a piece of plastic that I had, put the Bahumbug plastic word, stitched it. And then I've got the, the season brings a lot of feelings because that's true as well. And then that flips over and it's got the re like what the number represents. So one through 12 and all of these pop out and there's a little, a little photo. So like this one is, it was hard finding gifts at the mall, which was super frustrating. Um, there's also, ah, that one's stuck. Um, there was a mouse in our house. <laughs> And we, um, it took us a couple days to catch the mouse in the house. And that was not cool. I was not a fan of that. Um, let me find one that is an actual photo. Maybe this one. Ah, here. Um, we had a huge ice storm and there was ice on my car. I have one that's a picture of Barrett. Um, he got bit by a dog on Christmas Eve. That was a big downer. And so, yeah, that's all I did. I made little takes. And then I put photos on the back of them that correspond with our journaling. And that was how I was able to document um, the not so great moments, but it's still kind of festive looking, which I loved. And then my back page, which you'll see in a minute, has some clearer pieces through it. And so I just put a piece of white um, cardstock so that when you flip it over, you're not going to be able to see it and it doesn't affect the back side of the spread. So for day 13, it is documenting um, going to an event called Glow. We go almost every year. And this one was really fun because the last couple years it was a drive through. And so this time we actually got to get out and walk around. And the um, you had to go find all the different elves, which Jackson was into. The other kids just wanted to see the, the lights and stuff. And so I just grabbed a few of the photos and documented, or sorry, decorated with some stars, which I really loved. And then I have my journaling and it flips up. We had some really yummy um, mini donuts. These were red velvet. And there's a super cute photo of Nora as well, cause I just loved it. And I try to highlight the kids and their own photos um, so that there's a big photo of them as much as possible. I don't know that I, oh, I do have one of Jackson coming up. So there's that so again. Um, and I use the plastic, um, photo strips on this there's three different ones that I used and so this is just kind of a green spread going on with some gold and then we have another event it was um I don't think these were actually super close to each other but I put them back to back because it's just the way it, it worked the best so here's another super cute photo of Nora I love this I used a little bit of ribbon and another one of the stars and then I've got some of the photos taken from this event. We went to like a, I think it was called um, Holiday of Dreams, which was really fun. It was a bit of a comedy show and Cirque du Soleil type thing. But I took my two oldest to it and we were like the second row or something, which was awesome because Nora got to pet the bird at the very end and Jackson got to go on stage, <laughs> which was awesome. And so I just, I took a bunch of photos and there's Jackson on stage, some selfies and stuff. And then the story is in on there with, again, Canva and then a couple more photos, which I just love. So I enjoy this bit of hybrid that's happening where I can get a big story told because I can't write that small. So it was awesome to get big stories told um, and then get my need for actual physical product onto the page by doing things like adding little stickers and stuff. Or like in the case of like day three where I had slide-ins. It's a good compromise for me. Day 15 is about our gingerbread. So again, a cut file from Confessions of a Paper Attic. I couldn't fully spell out the word gingerbread, so I just called it ginger bead. My kids thought that was funny, so I'm like, that's perfect. And then it's as simple as I have my journaling, a photo of each one of the kids, and a tiny bit of embellishment, nothing too crazy. And that's it. That's how I documented the story of our gingerbread. Not everything has to be crazy. And this was super easy. I just turned it into a pocket by putting the tape on just the three sides. Very, very easy. Day 
16 or story 16 is just about the kids and their spirit week so that was really fun they had ugly sweater day uh festive pajama day the grinch day red and white day and um reindeer i think it was reindeer yeah reindeer day or something festive hat day or something um and so that was really fun and i did oh i put them in there so that was awesome and it just kind of again with the stars and the clear number so this is a nice easy one because there wasn't much to it other than the fact that i had to put in my little bit of journaling so that was a nice easy spread to get done day 17 is one of my favorites so i made this really fun shaker pocket the sequins are from Spiegel Mom Scraps. Fused it. I used one of the transparencies, um, one of the plastic words, and then I just made a little flip up about my coffee. So there's a photo of the coffee and um, a new coffee mug I got. And then this one flips up, and it I the few drinks that I tried this year for the holiday drinks and what I thought about them because I did try, I wanted to try them and really kind of hone in on which ones are my favorite. I'm not, I only drink Starbucks at Christmas time. <laughs> I'm not one to normally go to Starbucks. So it was fun to kind of try them. And that was a, a fun way to document it. I felt it wasn't too like in your face that it was my coffee themed spread, which I do every year as well, but it was a nice kind of nod and I thought it was cute. And then it flips over and I just needed something to fill in here, but I knew my story 18 needed to be on this side. And so I just slipped in one of the tags and a transparency, which I felt worked perfectly and also kind of helped with the fact that I was using that transparency and I didn't want there to be anything too much showing on the back. And so you can tell there's a tag back here, but really you're just seeing the white. And I felt like that was a, that was a good compromise. So just kind of a filler page there. This is also one of my favorite spreads. I'm so pleased with how this turned out. It was complicated though. Um, it's not easy to put holes into these canvas pockets. <laughs> I learned that, um, but it's okay. I got two more. I think these are the last of them. I think I use all of the plastic words to be honest with you. So I did the fa la and the jingle. And this is talking about our music and movies for the year. And I wanted to highlight them in a different way than I normally did. So I grabbed a photo. I set the timer and got a photo of us having dinner one night. And I love it. I did. I told the kids, you don't have to look, you don't have to do anything. And so we all kind of did something different. <laughs> These two made funny faces. These two are looking at each other and I'm looking at the camera. I love this photo. And then on the back of it, it talks about how we started to listen to Christmas music while we were having dinner and how that was so lovely to not have tablets and phones. And it just was a fun way to enjoy Christmas in a different way than we ever had before. And so music in a different story, which I loved. So that's that one. And then for the movie, I kind of did the same thing. I talked about just one movie and how we were all in for Home Alone this year. We watched it, I think twice. Jackson was all about it. He was really into it. Nora was confused why the kid would be home alone. It was just really funny. So I just kind of documented how we felt about it and then went onto Pinterest and found this cute little graphic, you know, that someone kind of made. I just love it. So not using the movie poster itself, kind of a remake of it. And I just really, really love how that turned out. And then because I needed another spot to fill, and I do like to know if I've listened to new music within the year, I did some wood veneer from Shadney. This little acrylic is also from Shadney. And then I just did the top five songs that I thought were new to me this year, and I just listed them. So same songs, different artists, everyone sings it a little bit differently. And that is how I was able to get music and movies all into one spread. And I absolutely love how that turned out. It then flips and we've got my day 19 story. And this is another one of the pockets. And how I managed to get this to work because I was struggling is I just ended up cutting one of the like the pages, page pockets, and I just trimmed it. I adhered it with some red line adhesive and then punched my holes again and I finally got it. But it was it wasn't easy. I struggled but it's okay. I used up the rest of the stars, the 
Woodvenue stars from the collection and then a few of the other stars and then a couple I had on hand. I painted my clear 19 with a red color that turned a little pinky and these as well. And then I've got two little cards. Um, this one's just a filler, so you, something pretty to look at. And then um, the photo, of, I've just fussy cut around it. So it's this cute little snow globe. And then the story about how that's what my mom does. She buys my oldest, Jackson, a snow globe every year. And that is her gift to him. And so he's got a little bit of a collection going because that's what she does. And then she started Angels with uh, my daughter and Christmas trees with my youngest, which I thought was cute. Day 20 is another really easy one. I don't even know that there's journaling on this, to be honest with you. I just have this cute little... Um, transparency um four by six card that came in uh the transparency set i put my 20 that i stitched put the word cheer a little bit of ribbon so you it's hiding the tape for the flip up of it and then it does it just flips up you've got two cute little photos with the filters from snapchat and then to another one oh and then there you go i've got some journaling about how nora loves to do snapchat filters with me and just a super cute easy story um, to fill up that day but yet get these super cute photos in there as well so I loved that we've got day 20 that starts with this fun transparency and then my full photo that's not really a full photo but honing in on Jackson in the snow a bunch of snowflakes which I love I love this photo of him this is my oldest but you can see his freckles so well in here and I just love that and then 21 yeah story 21 so a photo of the wreath with all the snow on it and then just kind of documenting about the big snowstorm that we got and it was crazy we got a lot of snow in december last year it was a very unusual year for us but maybe it's the new norm and then yeah just uh, some photos of all of us playing in the snow which i thought was super cute and just a great way to get that in there so pocket pages are great for things like that keeps it nice and condensed and then just a little bit of embellishing on it so there's something story 22 i finally used this <laughs> i stitched this probably two years ago it is a cut file from confessions of a paper addict that i turned into a stitching file and yeah it's just been waiting to be used and i've done so much stitching in this album already i figured i had to get this included so i went ahead and did that did my little 22 and then it flips open and this is another scrap lift from someone that I saw and I just loved what she had done and so took on her idea with her scrap lift and put our wrapping paper and did this really fun card highlighted the fact that we we're wrapping all the gifts have a cute photo of Jackson helping he was all into helping this year my journaling and the photo of me. So I love how this turned out. The only thing I wish I had done is I have one more piece of wrapping paper that didn't make it on. And in hers, I think she used a vellum piece. I wish I had done that with the Santa paper that I have, but it's okay. I love how this turned out. I think it's so cute and it's just a neat, neat way to use it. I know this is a lot of blank space, but I'll, this album's so busy, I feel like sometimes it's nice to have a bit of a resting spot. And I just stitched these two together to make them hold. And then story 22 is I put in little spots there, right, to cover up the photos, but not be too much so that it's not bugging the other side. That's with transparency is one thing you have to be careful with. Um, I've used some big red 23s. I've had these forever. I still have a bunch of them. So I managed to do that. And then a photo of Barrett. It was freezing cold, freezing cold, which you'll see. It, um, I think I might have a photo of it. Um, we had an ice storm. And so Barrett, it was sunny out and Barrett couldn't really understand why we weren't playing out in the snow. Um, but we're like, it's like negative 20. You can't go play. And so I kind of just talked about that and how we, um, the storm that happened and how um, it was it was 11 feeling like negative 21 and we couldn't with the wind chill and just couldn't do anything and we had to stay inside and the house was freezing and all of that stuff. So that kind of documents that little bit, 
which I love and just a great way again to use up that back side of that transparency. And then it flows into day 24. So I use a super cute card that said, and to all a good night. Got the photo of the snow that happened. I don't think you can see the icicles on this one, but that's okay. I use another one of the um, lyrics on the vellum, which I thought was cute. And then this super adorable photo. This was not actually taken on Christmas Eve, but he's sleeping in front of the Christmas tree and like, how adorable is that photo? And then this flips open and talks about Christmas Eve. Um, Barrett got bit by a dog and so kind of put a damper on Christmas Eve and I was a little frustrated with the situation and so I needed to be able to share my feelings without it you know <laughs> and so hidden journaling was the way to go and I didn't it happened the moment we got to uh, where we were at for Christmas and so I took no photos because I was worried about my kid um, and so I had to just talk about that but this is how I was able to document Christmas Eve he's fine everything was fine but in the moment, you know, how that goes. And then we have Christmas Day and we got this super cute family photo of all of us. And this is Barrett to a T sticking his tongue out there. I love it. Um, I have a couple more photos of throughout the day. So my parents came up, we went to his dad's, Barrett in his awesome Spider-Man outfit. And then I always do this filter. It's the same filter that that dear one was from where it puts the Christmas tree in like a painted light with all the presents. So I went ahead and tucked that in there. Again, just a little pocket. So that's perfectly fits like that. And then we've got my day 25, like it goes into the rest of this. So if you know, I always take a picture of my coffee on Christmas morning. It's my little hush before the crazy. Um, I think I have this at every single December daily I've ever done. And I've been doing them since 2020, 2014. So uh, yeah, I've got a few of them. But this one then flips up like this and it just has my journaling. So 10 years strong with the coffee mug in front of the Christmas tree. <laughs> I just love it. Um, so I went ahead and did that and I used some more of the stars. I really got those stars used up, which was awesome. And I loved how that turned out. And then to wrap it up, I have this super cute photo of my kids. They got blankets with their names on them in different colors from my mom. And then each kid, I just highlighted their present. Um, so Barrett got a tablet. Nora got a really cool like painting set, that art studio thing that she was so excited to get. She's my little creative. And Jackson got a skateboard and he just loved it. And so that was a great way to highlight their main gifts and get Christmas kind of documented. I don't tend to focus in a bunch on Christmas. I think a lot of us do kind of skip that like all of it because we document it in other formats as well um but this is a good way to get it at least in there um and then all the other stories will be told in my other scrapbooking but you guys there you have it that is my 25 stories for 2022 again i really loved creating this album and experimenting doing a few different things and I cannot wait to get started on 2023. So thank you for spending some time with me today going through this. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you get some inspiration and I will see you all again soon. Bye everyone.